Hello, Dora. Hello, Bouquet. I'm so glad to have you here. And where are you right now? Where do you call from? I am in the land called Israel right now, city by the name of Tel Aviv. And what is happening right now there for you at the moment? I work on creating circles for possibility management Israel. I organize workshops and hold space for healing processes and coaching for people in Israel. Great. I am in a country that called Turkey, where I was born and grown up as well. And one of the reasons that I'm here is to create a space to bring expand the box training from possibility management. And I see how it's challenging to invite people and also actually it's not inviting people but to have the yes from people to something that they don't know. They don't know nothing about. For myself, from the moment that I know possibility management, I really enjoy to going into unknown because I really discover a lot. But right now, for people who don't know nothing about PM, I really want to create this space where I can call other participants from all over the world uh, to let their to let share their experiences about possibility management and expand the box. So you are one of them. Um, I want to firstly ask, how did your path cross possibility management? Yeah, thank you for asking. And I want to say just before, thank you for taking a stand for bringing possibility management to Turkey. It's been such a huge part of my life and it really, really happened when I did the ETB. So I'm, I'm really glad and excited that you're, you're doing that work. And I'm, it's like all my, my bodies are happy. And uh, I, I first came across the ETB when I was in Portugal by, by total accident. I was in the Boom Festival and I saw my friend three times in the same day. So in the Boom Festival, you usually, you don't even see your friends that you came here for the whole week. And on the third time that I saw her, she said, listen, yesterday I've been in this workshop that is so great. You have to come check it out. I was like, no, no, no. And then she kind of dragged me there. I was sitting outside the big canopy tent, listen to Clinton and Aunt Chloe from Possibility Management do the workshop and I was like, wow, they're like, they blew my mind. So I just entered, went into the unknown and that's how it started. And what are the first memories that comes right now from expand box trainings that you have done? Yeah. It was such a magical journey. I went to Portugal in the midst of Corona, not knowing even if, if I can go to Portugal. And I came specially to do the ETB. So I came from Israel to Portugal, just like left everything. I like for in one week, I left everything. Like my, I sold my car and I just came to Portugal to do the ETB. And even the space where, where I just entered this huge house that we the ETB was in, just entering that space were already like so special. Like even the, the day before, like these small events in my life started to happen, like these crazy events. And I don't know if the people are watching it are familiar with this feeling that something big is about to happen. So that's what I remember going into the this house in Portugal, the space itself, it smelled the energy is different. The, it smelled like a different energy, different vibe. And then meeting everyone was already so extraordinary. That's for me, I'm like, I'm a door. I'm a, like, the thing for me, it's like the opening, the beginning of the thing. So, yeah. 
I remember as well. I had the same experience when I entered <laughs> in that special place and I said, there is something else here that I don't know and it's so magical, yeah. And this is one of your experience with the PM, possibility management. And after discovering possibility management, is there any moment that also you remember that something has shifted in you, in your life? Oh yeah, I mean, so many things it's like, especially before I came to the ETB, I was doing a lot of spiritual work, yoga, meditation, I was going to ashrams, following like yogis. And I did a lot of self-development, social development work. And in all of that work, I never dive into my shadow side, like, which means the part of me that are irresponsible, more irresponsible, the part of me where people notice and it prevent them from, from connecting with me or feeling intimacy with me. And those parts I wasn't even aware of. And that's for me like a big thing in the ETB to face, to meet my, my shadow side, but without anyone judging it, you know, without judging it is bad or wrong or good. It's just like, here's what, where I am. Here's where I really am in life. And all of this time I tried to connect with people, create relationship, hold space for workshop, but there was something missing. And that was me owning, owning in to my, my shadow side. And that's something great. And I never seen anyone do it like better than what's happening in DTB. Like you really get to face that shadow side as a community, as a team, with a team where, where it's not like, like you have the support for that. It's like about healing that or, or not about healing that. It's like about, but more like owning into that. That's part of me. It's not bad. I can use it in different ways than I used to use it until now. Mm. So doing, it's like being in the five days, it's such a, it's such a, like you can't hide there. You know, there, it's such an experiment. Like you always face people, relationships there and your, your shadow side is coming to the surface. And then you can get feedback about it. You get coaching we do together all these activities in the group that help you process it, process it in a way that I never seen any spiritual path, any, any self-development practice. Nobody does that. And that's like, I think the biggest thing that really changed my life. I, I mean, I, I talk to people after it's like my life changed, you know? Mm. I, I also, when I, since a while, since a year, actually, I have a possibility team with five women in Turkey. And when I create a space uh, about shadow work, shadow parts, the first question came, why do we need to know that? What will change if we know about our shadow parts? So what did it change for you from the moment that you could see your shadow part, you could work with your shadow part? Yeah, there, there is, first of all, there was a lot of unconscious energy I used to give to that part of me. And it comes like as habits, you know, doing habits, for example, doing things really fast and not being like center, not being grounded in the moment. And I did all this meditation and yoga, but, but just owning into this shadow part that want to move fast, want to not have intimacy with people, that brought all this energy from that place into, into my center. So then I, I learned this, like I learned this practice in the ETB, how to be centered. And, and that really changed me. Like it changed interactions I have with people, relationships, you know, because now I could take all the energy that used to go to this unconscious part of me, to this conscious part, to my center. And the possibilities like totally change. Like there is totally new possibilities now for me. Mm. Does that answer your question? 
Yes, perfectly. I also hear actually what has changed and why it was important uh, expand the box and, and all this work that you have done through possibility management. And I'm still going to ask you to make this clear to everyone who's going to watch this video. Why do you recommend people to attend an ETB? This is my assumption because I know that you really recommend people to uh, attend an expand the box training. And why do you do that? Why people would go into something that they don't know nothing about? Yeah. To first of all, totally, I, I totally recommend that. It's not even recommend. It's like I feel I feel almost sad that not enough people know about that and, and sad that some people might not go into that adventure soon enough. Because I, I, I don't see anything today that can give someone so much value in terms of his self-growth, self-evolution, like giving him possibilities about stuff, like owning into his shadow side. There's nothing like really out there that is like so real, so technological advanced, so like well-designed like as ETB. So yeah, I totally recommend that for everyone watching that. And yeah, there's now one in Turkey. So just go do it. It's like commit and then figure out how. That's what I did. I, in the middle of COVID, everyone told me that I can't go to Portugal. So I was just like, I don't know how, but I somehow I'm just gonna say yes and I'm gonna get there. And I told them I'm coming. I paid before I even knew how I'm gonna get there. And it's really the best thing I did for my life. The biggest growth I ever did in 10 years of, of uh, doing self-development work. But, but yeah, to, to your question is like, so your question was, why do I recommend someone going there? Yes. Yeah, was that the question? I mean, the next thing, the next thing in our life is this adventure. It's just like, if you're watching this video, that's probably your next step. It's like this, all this synchronicity is like, why are you here watching this? It's probably that you're wanting to watch someone telling you like, go for it. It's, it's your next thing in your life. And it, it brings so many amazing possibilities. Also one thing that I have to say, it's like working in a team. I was a long wolf. I was long wolf. I, I was on this path alone all my life. And it, it, it's like so painful. You know, to be a sensitive guy or a sensitive even woman in, in this world, it is so, you know, so like rat race, like so harsh, like resolve, resolve. But, and then you're going on a different path, but I, I, I did it alone. So, so like you're going into the ETB, you suddenly have 20 people, your new tribe, your new family, and you learn about this new culture that you can be in. And I was really looking for that my whole life. I was looking for that group of people. And that's like my most treasure connection that I have today. So that's, that's my big uh, recommendation about that. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dor, for your aliveness because it really gives me lots of energy to hear you and it brings me joy. Thank you so much for your sharings. Yeah, thank you for your question. They really touched me in some way and brought this, this like thing that had to come up through me. So thank you. Yeah.